Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review today. I'm here to tell you all about the latest album from Corn The Nothing, currently available in any platform that you wish or that you desire to acquire this record from. This album has 13 tracks, 44 minutes in length, and this is the band's 13th album. First impression, this is a Korn album. Musically, lyrically, and emotionally, this is without a doubt a Korn record. I'm going to say that this is perhaps the darkest record they've put together ever. And coming from this band, that is a statement within itself. I just felt that this album really blended aggression with melancholy. Uh, and, and perhaps that's an aspect that we've come to expect from Korn and from their music. But on this record, they took it to a different level. They made everything about this record a lot darker, a lot somber. Not a surprise as well, considering the emotional baggage that's coming into the making of this album. But it's really come across in the music and it's really come across on all different aspects of this record. It's come across in, in the musical content, it's come across in the construction of the album, in the structure of the album, in the lyrics of the album, in the vocal performance on the record. Everything about this record to me was very dark and somber. It just had that atmosphere, it just had that vibe. Once again, nothing really surprising from a corn perspective from from uh, what they've done in the past, they've always had that aspect to them, but I just feel like on this record, the knob was turned all the way to 11 as far as the darkness, uh, the mood, the atmosphere that this record has is concerned. Now, this album has a very interesting dynamic and fluidity when you look at the overall structure of the record. To me, this is an album that, that has a certain roller coaster to it. It has certain dips, it has certain moments, it has certain gives. I really feel like this is an album that starts off extremely well. It starts off with an intro track, uh, but it starts off in a way that it's building up on on, a, on emotion. You just feel like the emotion is it's 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 uh, boiling at a certain point, and you just feel like there's a growth, there's a there's a there's a peaking uh, as far as emotional content is concerned in the first couple of tracks on this album. Then you feel like there's a dip at, at the halfway point, a little bit before the halfway point. You feel like there's a little bit of a dip. Uh, musically perhaps not as aggressive or at least there's a little bit of a slowing down of a simmering as far as aggression is concerned the album becomes a lot more introspective a lot more melancholic not only lyrically but also musically it, it, there's still aggression built in within but you just feel like there's a little bit of a dip in intensity it becomes a lot more introspective then in the third in the, in the third part of the record, if you will, if you're dividing this record into three parts, in the third part, you feel like those two worlds that were there for the first and the second part of the record come together for the third, and you feel that there's a built-up of emotion, of anger, of aggression, all of these different emotions that were captured for the first two-thirds of the record come together in the last third of the album, almost like an outburst uh, of anger and anguish, uh, a feeling of having no control over your own environment. That all comes together in the third part, in the third piece of this record. The first two thirds build up towards it. The first two thirds have some components that we'll see then emerging fully flourishing in the last third. Like I said, the aggression never really goes away. This is an album that has a lot of that all the way from the beginning, all the way to the end, sometimes musically, sometimes vocally, but the aggression is always there. I just feel like there's a middle piece on this record that the aggression is almost surpassed by the level of, of anguish, of melancholy, of uh, just this somber vibe that just really takes a hold of the record in that middle piece portion of it. Now, musically, as far as the sound is concerned, this is, like I said, a corn record, so there's really not much there. Uh, that there, There's no left hooks, there's no uh, twists and turns. This is a, a record that sounds like a corn record. It has all the fingerprints, it has all the DNA of a corn record as far as the sound is concerned. So from that perspective, there's really nothing new, nothing that surprised me listening to this album. Jonathan Davis, vocally on this record, absolutely magnificent. This guy is a monster. He comes across uh, in, in, with a variety of emotions on his vocal delivery, using clean vocals, harsh vocals, different melodies, different tones, different approaches. It, it, this guy is absolutely incredible. And this record, I just really feel that the emotion, he, he's a vessel to the emotion that he's been building up inside of him. And it really comes across on every single track on this record. Every single track has a little bit of an, it has 
aggression in it, some more, some others. But if there's one thing that's an absolute constant throughout the record, is the mood and the emotion that he carries on every single track. This album, in my opinion, once again, is driven by raw emotion. It really transports each track. It really transports the listener from the beginning all the way to the end. And that is really the driving force. That's really the pushing forward mechanism that this record has. It's a very intense record. I think that's the best way to describe it. I really enjoy listening to this album. I really enjoy the, the journey that the band took me on. And I almost feel like they open up a little bit and give us a glimpse of what's going on on the inside. So this is a very interesting record, a very intense record, a record that to me, the most important component of it is the structure of how the album is put together, because that structure allows every single song to have that, that intense emotion that really is needed in order to, to allow the, the record to work as a whole. I really feel that the overall structure of this album is the key main factor behind the, the, the uniqueness that this album has and behind the force, the impact that this album will have with the fans and the listeners. As far as songs are concerned, outside of the singles, there are a few songs that, that pique my interest. One of them is The Darkness Is Revealing, a song that really mixes emotions musically and vocally. It, it, it's the way we've gotten used to Korn and the way they come across in songs and in this song they did the same. They really have a very unique way of balancing those two worlds, those two kind of emotions. The verses come at you in a more melancholic, methodic way. The chorus picks up a little bit more aggression, specifically in the pre-chorus more than the chorus. The chorus then blends in into a more melodic approach, but it's a song that has a lot of changes, has a lot of moving parts. Following the second chorus, a really heavy, aggressive, destructive closing transition comes in that then works its way into a more melodic, melancholic approach. I really like the fusion of feels, the fusion of sound, the fusion of approaches. The dynamic that this song has is just a really well-blended track with a very intense lyrical content. And that is a guarantee on every single song on this record. Another song that I'd like to mention is Finally Free, a song that starts almost, not that only starts, but it has almost a little bit of an R&B jazz vibe, very moody uh, aspect to it, specifically in the verses. I really feel that it has that different approach. It also not only comes across in the music, but it comes across in Jonathan's vocal delivery as well. The, the chorus comes in with a little bit more volume, a little bit more heaviness. It has a little bit of a thicker sound to it. So it, it creates a very interesting dynamic between those two worlds of the verses and the chorus of the song. It has a very interesting sounding bridge following the second chorus. I really like that difference of sound, that difference of approach. Uh, it, it just really allows the song to mix despair with darkness, specifically coming in from the clean vocals that morph into harsh vocals, and then they come back again with this thicker sound, uh, following up by the chorus, and then um, again mixing in the clean and the harsh vocals. This is a song that you just feel like it's a jackal and high track, not only from a vocal perspective with clean vocals and harsh vocals, but also from the sound that it has. It just has that kind of dynamic. Last but not least, this lost one of my favorite tracks on the album. By the way, this is one of those records I could easily throw a stone, hit any track on the album, and it's a banger. There isn't one skippable song on this record. Every single song is important in the overall dynamic that the album has, and every single song is absolutely magnificent. I really like this album, and once again, the structure of it, it's really what really gravitated me to this record. But nevertheless, this loss, it's a very introspective song, specifically lyrically. I really like that aspect. That, that reflects itself in the music and the darkness that the music has. A song that moves like waves between the verses and the chorus. You just have this, this weaving, this coming of a tide, coming and going. That's the feel that I get listening to this song. Uh, it has a much somber feel in the, in the verses and a much darker one in the chorus. There is a slight change in mood, ever so slight between the two, that allows that feeling of coming and going, of a tide moving. Uh, there's a portion of the song that has almost a, it's like a little bridge that this song has that feels almost like a musical box, like you open the musical box and, and the, the melody that's in that box is coming at you in this track, in this little bridge. That to me, it adds a little bit of darkness and, and it adds this haunting feel to the track. It, it, it really gives this really dark, horror, sinister vibe to the track that really works well 
not only with the song itself, but with the vocal content and with the vocal delivery on this track. Uh, that part then bleeds in into a much heavier portion of the song, uh, a really outburst of anger, if you will, uh, an outburst of emotion, an out-of-control outburst of emotion, before turning back again into a more melodic, more dark chorus, more dark approach, which is the, the chorus portion of this song. I really like this track. This is a track that just drains you emotionally. You just feel absolutely tired by the end of this track. One of those that I really absolutely connected with and felt an immediate bond to this track. That's why I had to mention it as one of my favorite threes outside of the singles, obviously. All right, guys, this is it. This is Korn, the nothing out right now. I really want to hear your thoughts on this album from Korn. Uh, it's interesting that this is their 13th album and the album has 13 tracks. Uh, and the number 13 is normally associated with bad luck. And there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of bad juju if you will as far as the lyrical content and obviously the atmosphere of this record is concerned so i feel like all of these parameters are tied in into the overall feel and structure and sound of this record but i was really captivated by this album i was really surprised with how well put together this record is i must say i was not expecting an album that was this emotionally draining but this is what we got so now that you know how i felt about it i want to hear how you guys feel about it let me know in the comment section below i'll be reading those and getting back to you take care guys